the mean for continuous series data. This is a continuous series data on the weight in kilograms of 10 children attending the nutritional clinic in Samaruzaria, Nigeria. We know this to be a continuous series because we can see that the data is grouped and the frequency for each class is provided. So how do we find the mean of this type of data series? Recall that the mean is a measure of central tendency that indicates the average value of the data set. So we'll be looking for the average value, right? Let us modify the table a bit to make it easy for us to compute the mean. So let's place the weights in kilograms here and the frequency here. And then we have all the data arranged neatly in a vertical manner like so. Awesome. The mean of a continuous series data set is given by the formula. X bar is equal to sigma from i is equal to 1 to n of f sub i multiplied by m sub i divided by sigma f sub i. This means the sum of the product of each frequency and each midpoint from the first class to the last class all divided by the sum of all the frequencies which is the same as the number of values. Here x bar is a symbol for the mean of the sample. Sigma i equals 1 to n is the sum of all the values from the first to the last. f sub i is the value of the ith frequency i.e. the frequencies of the classes. m sub i is the index midpoint of the classes and sigma f sub i is the sum of all the frequencies which is the same as the sample size. Great, now let's apply this formula. First, let's work on the numerator. So we'll first find the midpoints, then multiply each midpoint by the respective class frequency and finally sum all of them together. So let's find the midpoints. To do this, we'll add the lower and the upper class limits of each class and then divide by 2. So for the first class, it will be 0 plus 5 all divided by 2 and that's 2.5. For the second, it is 5 plus 10 all divided by 2 and that's 7.5. Next is 10 plus 15 all divided by 2 and that's 12.5. And then 15 plus 20 divided by 2 and that's 17.5. And lastly, 20 plus 25 all divided by 2 and that's 22.5. Nice. Now that we have all the midpoints, our next step will be to find the product of the frequency and the midpoints of each class. So let's create another column here and label it f sub i times m sub i. So here for the first class, we will multiply 1 times 2.5 and that's 2.5. For the second class, 3 times 7.5 and that's 22.5. Here 3 times 12.5, that's 27.5. 2 times 17.5 and that's 35 and lastly 1 times 20.5 and that's 22.5. Awesome. Now that we have all the products of the frequencies and midpoints, we just need to sum them to complete the numerator. So the sum of the product of the frequencies and the midpoints of each class, that's the sigma f sub i of m sub i is equal to 2.5 plus 22.5 plus 27.5 plus 35 plus 22.5 and this equals 110. Awesome. Then we go to the denominator, which is the summation of f sub i. This is the total of the frequencies, and this is actually the same as the total number of children or our sample size. So we say 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 all equals 10. Remember, the question even said 10 children, right? Awesome. Now we have both our numerator and our denominator. So our numerator is 110 divided by our denominator. 10 and this will give us 11 kg so our mean weight is 11 kg easy peasy so this is how to easily compute the mean for continuous series data now if you've gained value with this video please give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends and colleagues to help them and if you want to see more awesome statistical videos like this one consider subscribing to this youtube channel now if you want to learn how to compute the median for different series data check out this video right here and for the mode check out this other video here See you in the next video and as always thanks for watching.